for me, growing up in London, I've always seen my parents wear, you know, Dutch wax prints, Swiss foil lace. Um, and for me, when they wore it, they always felt like they always looked happy. Um, and it was, it was, for me, like a bit of a performance, you know, like going to church, going to a party, it was, you know, quite a big deal. So for me, I want to sort of re, you know, reincorporate those elements of that happiness and that feeling into seating and to, into, into, into everyday furniture, um, because that tells my story uh, through, through those objects. And if we look at a family circle, you know, it's the idea of a family circle being one and sort of, you know, no one can sort of intersect that circle. It's about, you know, celebrating, you know, the five years of 154, um, the community, you know, everyone that's come, the artists, the collectors, just everyone trying to, you know, push, you know, the, the, the creativity and art scene forward. Um, and I wanted to try to, you know, tell the narrative of, you know, the five years on, on these tables. So we're extremely happy to be um, taking over the Saf Edmond Safra courtyard at Somerset House. It's the second year in a row with this beautiful sculpture of Pascal Martin Tayou, which is an artist from Cameroon. Um, who has tried to represent what we call the Toguna, which is an African home from Mali, which is kind of like a platform where people come to meet, to discuss, to engage. We have 42 international uh, galleries representing over 130 artists coming from 35 different countries. Um, so for us, it's one of our biggest fair. Um, we're celebrating our fifth year anniversary and we are extremely happy to be able to um, provide you know, such a strong addition. When I'm taking pictures and I'm clicking at that point of time, it's like having a rhythm. And I realize if I have music playing and I have a, a sit I'm shooting and there's a kind of a connection between me, the sitter and the music, it's almost like it becomes like a dance, as I said, so it becomes like a flow between. So it's kind of important to have music. We have the you know, kaftans, we have jilabas, we have the headscarves, the hijabs, and then there's the veils as well. And within this, there's a style. You know, there's a, you, know, you have to remember the women will buy, buy the fabric and have something made specially for them to their measurement. Uh, and then whatever accessory they put in, i.e. a veil or the, the scarf, it still has to go with the rest of the outfit. So I really just wanted to highlight something that's happening. And I know by living and growing up in London, there's this kind of this fear of this uh, what you call a Muslim woman with the veil or being covered up, um, which, you know, I see it sort of a bit kind of a misunderstanding or wrong from the West to, to, to see this.